Now we're on the beach today, so while we're waiting for the tide to go out, because we're going to go out there and we're going to show you one of these bait pumps in action, we're going to show you just how easy it is to collect your own bait. I mean, if I give you some idea of, if you ever go digging bait yourself, what you can collect, um, I used to go out, I wasn't very good at bait digging, I would possibly get a hundred lug in a session. All right, I'm not very good. Some of you guys out there might be extremely good and you might double that in an hour. But if I tell you a professional bait collector can get up to 1,200 black lugworm in a session, it just shows you the possibilities of what you can do with a bait pump. Very easy to use, absolutely dead easy. Like I say, there's two sizes available, a one meter and a 1.1 meter. No bending down, no effort, little bit of sand out, pump out, hey ho, your worm's waiting for you. Now, these have come on from the early bait pumps. If you were a friend with a plumber, you were in business. A bit of copper pipe, nuts, bolts, all hashed together. But these modern A1 Pro pumps are absolutely fantastic. They're just light as a feather, easy to carry, and easy, easy to maintain. All you do is, to change your washers and to keep it clean and to keep it lubed, one screw, that's all it is. John's gonna show you just how easy it is to take this out and we'll show you what's inside. Uh, when we designed these, it was the idea was to make them as easy uh, as possible to service on a beach or even change your washers at home. So nothing complicated at all. All you need is a five millimeter Allen key, which is supplied. And by placing that in the top cap nut and undoing a couple of turns, you should then just be able to pull the pump apart. All the bits you need to service are ready and available. Now these pumps come already preset, so you can go into your local tackle shop, buy it, next low tide, go out and immediately start pumping worms. But over a period of time, the washers inside will eventually wear out. So what happens is you need to adjust the suction, change the washers and adjust the suction. You can actually buy kits of washers to change them. We've already shown you and demonstrated how easy it is just to take the plunger out and show you where the washers actually fit. So you, it's done in a, a matter of minutes. You can do it on the beach if you want. So um, I'm going to hand this over to John now who's going to demonstrate the suction power on this. And he's also going to show us how we can adjust the amount of suction that you actually use to pull a valuable lugworm out of the sand. Right John, just a quick demonstration on how this suction works. I believe you've got a unique way of showing us how the suction actually works. Yeah, well I said this is straight out of the box. So the first thing you all you want to do is, is make sure that you lubricate it, a little bit of fairy liquid or something, before running the washers dry in there because you will burn them out. But uh, this will give you an idea of the suction. So just by placing your, your, your hand or your finger over the top, you can see the T-bar is stuck in there. But by releasing your thumb, the bar should move nice and freely. To give you an idea of the suction power of it, let's say this isn't even tight yet. That's the kind of power you're going to get straight away without any adjustment. Now, like I said earlier, there's two sizes available. You've got a one meter and a 1.1 meter. Now it's got to be a great money saving idea. Collecting your own bait's always, always a great money saving idea. John, tell me how much these cost. Well, the one metre is 64.99 and the uh, extra long at 1.1 metre is 74.99. And you know, one of the things that we, we tell people when they are thinking about buying them is you can literally get your money back in one tide. Your money back in one tide. Just, just think how much money you spend on lugworm every time you go fishing. It's a great idea, John. I love them. These have been in the shops for how long? They've been in since November and uh, they're selling very well actually at the moment. Good. And they're in shops all over the UK at the moment. So if the and tackle dealer hasn't got it in, he's got to get in touch with you. They can order them online or via their local tackle shop. That's, that's absolutely astounding. I'm going to get one of these straight away because I'm sick of paying hundreds of pounds for lugworm every year. It's a great idea. Right, listen, tide's going out. We're going to show you just how easy it is to pump lugworm with the Air one Pro Pump.
Regan, you make that look really, <laughs> really easy. How many have you got? Not many at the moment, probably about five or six so far. Not well, many cars. Well, five or six, and how long have you been here? Five minutes? That, yeah. Just wait for the tide to go out, so you're just yeah. tinkering about. Yeah, it makes it. this look really, really easy. One thing I've noticed what you're doing, Regan, you're squeezing the guts out straight away. What are you doing that for? Make them last a bit longer in the paper when you wrap them. So you wrap them yeah, individually. Wrap them in tens, yeah. Wrap them in tens in the right. fridge. Yeah. It lasts probably about a week. Last about wrap, a week? Yeah, wrapped wrap up in paper? Yeah. Alright. How long have you been doing this now? Probably a couple of years. A couple of years? Yeah. So alright, if you just try and explain to me, you're walking around, you're looking for a cast. So tell me what do you do when you find a cast? Where do you position? I need to know where you position the pump. So let's let's find a cast that you think will be a worm in. Before you do it, can I just show you this? Regan's found a cast here. Positions the pump behind it? Behind it, yeah. Why do you do that? Just you know, preference really. Pre what, so you, what you think, yeah. Because me or anybody watching this at home might suddenly think, oh there's the cast. Yeah. They might put the pump right on top of the cast. Yeah, yeah, no. It's what you what you get used to really. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you're trying to suck it out of its burrow? Yeah, because yeah, they sit in like a, a, a boiler at those like, right. And I've way. noticed you're not pushing the pump in too deep. No. No? Is they, there a reason for that? Yeah, down here they seem to be shallow. A bit really. shallow, just yeah. under the surface, yeah? yeah. Alright, then let's let's see if you can get one out of here. Hopefully it'll be one there. No, not one there. So it's just trial and error. It is, yeah. Finding a cast. Yeah. yeah. And then just trying it. And then just trying it. Do you look on there? So just need to find some dry sand. Right, if I can just break in there. What I've noticed the most about what Regan's doing here is getting through about, I'd say you're getting through about 9, 10, 11, up to a dozen casts in absolute double quick time. Now if I was digging with a fork individually, yeah. I'd be turning a load of sand yeah. over, looking for a cast, turning a load of, and that would take me twice as long oh, as yeah. what you're doing with the pump. It's um, absolutely incredible just how easy it is to get these worms out of the sand. And another plus thing, we're using a pump. If you just think about it, if you go digging on a beach at low tide with a fork, you're digging for two hours. When you leave the beach, you turn around, the place is like a cloud field. Now there's nothing wrong with that if you're back filling your holes. But one thing I've noticed, if you, if I just get the camera just to pan around the beach, Now you wouldn't even think that anybody had been on there and already Regan has got about 30 worms in the bucket already. It's been here 10 minutes. So simple. Another thing I want to touch on, Regan I've noticed every now and again you pump about 10 worms out, you stop and you yeah. lubricate the pump. Why are you doing that? Because with the sand it gets stuck in there so it gets a bit more, it gets a bit stiff sometimes and if you put like that spray or wash it up when you down it, it makes it a lot easier to pull up and down. So just to recap, so every now and again you're pulling the sand up. Yep. You're pulling the sand up. And every now and again it just works its way behind the tube, which yep. makes it a lot yep. more tighter, tighter yeah. to bring the T-bar yep. up. Yeah? That's it, yeah. So every now and again, this is universal maintenance lubricant. Every now and again, Regan will just stop, take a couple of minutes, clean the pump out, bit of lubricant in, he's off and running again. So there's no time wasted at all. Tell you what, I'm going to get Regan to show you what he does. Like. Just give us a quick demo, Regan. So you lift the pump up. Yeah. And then just spray it Spray it down the handle. Some in there. Yeah. And if you want, you can spray some down the other end. And that's it. And that's it, yeah. That's it. How simple is that? There you are, he's ready to go again. 20 seconds of his time. Brilliant.
There you are. Look at these. Absolute magic. I tell you what, Regan. Um, I've had a go myself. I'm not as very good as you. Uh, you've got it down to a fine art. So there's my effort. <laughs> One. You can have that, mate. Look at this. Here's a one for all you guys back at home. Give yourself a pat on the back if you notice the real benefit of using a bait pump. Try digging with a fork in this water. Absolutely impossible. Regan's just walked in this bit of water with his bait pump, found a few casts in the bait in the in the water with his bait pump. Look at this. You would have missed them with a the fork. You can't dig in water with a fork. With a bait pump, find the cast in, bang, out. What a massive benefit that is. Imagine how many worms you'd miss. Do you prefer it in the water, Regan? Yeah, it gives the pump a bit more suction. A bit more suction. I suppose it's easier to lift out as well, is it? This, in the water. I'll tell you what, you've got to get one of these bait pumps. If you haven't tried one, it's definitely worth a try. I'm going to let Regan crack on because he's getting a few now. So everybody, there you go, look at this. Look at the free bait you can get. No fork, no effort, no back breaking. A pump, an A1 Pro pump. What size is that one? 1.1 1 .1 meter, that one? Yeah, I think yeah? so, yeah. That's, that's the tallest one. Look at this. The last forecast Regan put his pump into, these are the worms he's got. Just hold them up for the camera, Regan. Hold them up. Look at them. Beautiful, fresh, black pump lug. Beautiful. Right, quickly, no carrying buckets about. No putting your bucket down, drifting off, turning around. Where's my bucket? Look at this. Regan's got a tray with his rope attached, which he puts around his arm. Wherever Regan goes, his bait bucket's following him. He doesn't have to worry about where it is. It hasn't tipped over, it hasn't blown over in the sand, the tide hasn't come in and washed it away. And here we go. Black lug, fresh black lug, ready for the shop. You can get these with one of them. So, Regan, it's been a pleasure to meet you, mate. Yep. Absolute brilliant, mate. Super yep. stuff. Yes, so, that's our demonstration. I'm using a paper pump on the beach. We're going to head off now for a cup of tea. Regan's going to get me a hundred black lug. Is that right, mate? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> See you for now. <laughs>